Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here at Purdius Prime. Heads up, if I cough, sneeze, snort, or anything like that, it's because I'm recovering from the man flu. And if any of you are friends with me on Facebook, I shared a little link the other day, and apparently man flu is actually a thing. <coughs> Men, uh, something to do with their brains, processed illness differently, I, I, I don't know, all I know is I get much iller than my wife does. So, but that's enough about me and my sickness. I have finished the twins, oh yeah. So these are completely finished, except for a couple of minor touches, one thing I couldn't, can't find my heavy side cannon for either of these two models and two when I was putting this guy together I don't know if you can see the gap there I need to get some green stuff and just fill that in or maybe break them apart and try and do it again he's only slightly glued on so we'll go from there but voila they are done I don't you can see it alright I've got weird lighting in this room so Da, da, da. Can you see that right? Let me try. She's got a different camera angle. Two secs. That's about it. In my lap, you shall go. Right, let's try that. So. Ah, oh, that's much better. So, I've gone for a kind of battle-worn, grim kind of look been in the trenches, been fighting demons for some time and some battle damage on the on the red paint job silver's all mustied up, everything like that so how did I come to this final paint job? So I'm going to run through exactly how I painted this guy and this twin and how I based as well. So first things first, primer. I use the Army Painter Silver Primer. Covered the whole model. After that let it dry. Went over the entire model with Seraphim Sepia. And then I let that dry, dry brushed, bolt gun, what's the new one called? Lead belcher, there we go, I was thinking bolt gun metal, that's an old one. Lead belcher, I dry brushed all of that over, so that finished off all the silver. I then did, for the red was Corn red, and then Mephiston over the top of that, and then Jacario, Jacario, Jacario. How on earth do you pronounce that? Jacario, Jacaro. God, I can't pronounce anything for toffee today. I'm gonna blame the illness. That one basically. That's the one I used, and I used that for edging the red. All around there, around there and there. Once I did all that, got my dark dry brush again, in a lead belt char, wiped off most of it, and just dabbed in bits where I thought would look fairly decent with a bit of battle damage. And on there as well. For the green, was just straight up moot green over that. And then some suggested doing a white along there and that one, I did the same there I think it might be Mammoth painting I'm pretty sure it was you mate so I did that, cheers for that little tip there looks much better for the gold I used Balthazar followed by Gehenna's I think Gehenna's is a really good layer on top of Balthazar really brings out the highlight in it 
So do Balthazar, wash it with Agrax or Seraphim, it's totally up to you. Sometimes you don't have to do both, but if you want to bring out any depth within, say, like stuff like there, where the markings are, suggest doing that. And that's it, really. And then for that, I used uh, Rakar Flesh and then Seraphim Sepia for the books and the scrolly bits. And that was it, and that's how I painted these guys. For the base, I covered the whole base in PVA glue using an old brush. I then got these stones from, from my local hobby store. You can probably get them from most of your local hobby stores. What are these ones called? These are called Jarvis Countryside Scenics. And they're just simply called coal. I got these from Lawrence and Matthews in the UK, for anyone that's not in the UK. Put them in a bowl, got the base and just went whoop, let it dry, chuck the ones that are off, and then watered down a load of PVA glue, and then got the same brush and just splattered it all over this to really make it solid so it doesn't come off. Let that dry, that took five, six hours for it to really dry hard and then I stuck these bits on now you've seen these in my other videos on my other grey nights same make Jarvis Countryside Scenics and this is Model Scenic Lichen Autumn and that's what I use for those so if you like that that's what they are come from Lawrence and Matthews as well and that put these guys finished so now my 1850 list I've got Drago's finished Librarians finished, two squads of Terminators are finished, now my two Dread Knights are finished, I've got a term, uh, Land Raider to finish, a Storm Raven, and five man strike squads. And that's it, and then my 1850 list is done, and I can crack on with my next project. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.